This is Gaston from The Beauty and the Beast. I wanted this doll for several years now, but I thought I lost my chance to get it, and yet here it is. When I went to the Disney store to pick up the dolls for Raya and the Last Dragon, I saw a few more dolls on the display. By the time I went back to the store for the second time, some of them were already sold out. But I was still able to get a few. One of them was Gaston. Back when the live-action film was released, I was contemplating whether I should get the live-action version of Gaston, but I decided against it. I really wanted the animated version more. There was also like a 5-inch version of Gaston a few years back. I also contemplated about getting that one, but it was too small. I would have to do a lot of extra work to make Gaston look like other dolls. But finally, my wait is over. Gaston is released as a regular doll, just like all other Prince dolls. The Beauty and the Beast is one of the central figures in the Descendants world, and yet I didn't have the villains from this world. It felt like my doll's world was a little bit incomplete, but I didn't feel like I needed to rush and get Gaston. He's not the main villain in the movie. Gaston is more like a distraction than a real villain. The Beast is the real villain of the movie, and the hero is sort of complex. If there's one person who was very, very confused as to why he ended up on the Isle of the Lost, it would be Gaston, because he is probably the only character in all of Disney movies who really thought he was a hero. I think all other villains probably knew why they ended up on the Isle, but not Gaston. In his mind, he was trying to get rid of a beast, a monster. It doesn't seem like a King Beast was all that liked by his people, even before he turned into a beast. So Gaston probably thinks King Beast intentionally put him on the Isle as a revenge. I don't really have a lot of stories for Gaston though. He came out as a really shallow character in the movie. There was very little character development. The way I see it, he's a character who happens to be at the wrong place at the wrong time, mingling with wrong people. He's arrogant, but so was the king. He's a bit narcissistic, but so was the king. He was sort of mean and chauvinistic, but so was the king. Probably Gaston's biggest flaw is that he's a coward. I'm happy to add Gaston to my collection. So let's talk about the doll. The base for this doll is the typical Prince doll line. It has about 9 articulations. One of the first noticeable thing is his shirt. It comes with a lot of extra paddings. We knew his muscle is fake. He's padding his shirt to make himself look like he has more muscle than he actually has. How sad is this man? But I think it's also kind of funny that doll makers put in that extra effort to bulk up his shirt. His shirt has a little yellow color. There is an actual metal buckle on his belt. I think Prince Florian and Prince Charming both come with fabric buckles, so that is definitely an upgrade. He's wearing stretchable black pants. His boots are the same kind as other Prince dolls. His head rotates, his arms rotate, and can open up to the side. His knees can bend. His legs can also spread. He comes with a small ponytail, just like a King Beast. I think a more friendly relationship is possible between Gaston, Belle, and the King Beast. I think their relationship is reversible. Overall, I'm happy to have found Gaston. I feel like the Beauty and the Beast world is a little bit more complete in my collection.